Welcome back to Night in the Woods. It's almost time to go to Angus and have them take us to one of the two remaining uh, potentially spooky places to learn more about ghosts. I don't remember which one Angus is going to take us to. I remember there's the society. Oh no, uh, um, Greg is going to take us to that society place, the building that's being used as a school. And Angus is going to take us to Possum Jump, the like state park, I think. But before that, got a couple more people to talk to around town. Hey, B. Hey. You all right? You seem down. No, it's nothing. Stuff. You want to talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Whatever you want to do. Can I choose to do something with B instead of going on the ghostly adventures? Huh. That's an interesting thought. That wouldn't close off the ability to go on those ghostly adventures, right? Uh, well, I still need to speak to everybody around town before I do anything, so... Wandering around town. Have fun. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table! <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way. It's true. We both dance on that table. Nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. Whoa, is this the first conversation they've had where they didn't mention the, the smelters? I think I'm going to avoid talking to Angus... Um, and Greg, because I know we're just going to talk about where we're going to go. So I'm just going to check around a little bit more to see if there's anything else before talking with B again. Oh, hello. You're new. Whoa. What are you doing up here? Uh, um, what are you doing up here? I live here. On the roof? No, in town. Noted. You're gonna fall and kill yourself. Noted. I'm like, trying to see the town from above. Oh, okay. Gonna draw a map of town center. Don't they have maps? Like, they make them with satellites? From space? Eh, I like making them. They're delightful. I like maps. Everything's so tiny. Right? Okay, well, be careful. I'm up here because I'm a professional. I have the shoes for it. Okay, thanks. If I see you on the news with a broken spine, just don't say I didn't warn you. I probably won't be saying anything. Oh, right. Good point. Have fun. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. How'd you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid, but only got up the nerve to break in recently. Why's that? I'm not getting any younger. This place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the number of first evers gets lower, and the number of never agains gets higher. I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. You know that guy across town? What guy? The guy I told you about? Yeah? He seems lonely. And you seem lonely. Um... You two could play together. Uh... Did I make this weird? No, it's fine. What's he play? Uh, violin? Fiddle? Are they the same? Huh. Okay. Well, if you see him again, tell him to stop by. Unless he's a creep or something. He doesn't seem like a creep. Well, I got Mace. Hey. Hey, Angel, this is my friend May. Hey, May, what's up? Cool name. Gracias, much obliged. 
Angel's just in town between trains. Going west next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty birdie. Down to the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Have you met anyone named Casey out on the rails? Hmm. Let me think. You know what he or she looked like? Uh, he. He looked kind of like me. A little taller. Orangish hair. Nah, man. I don't recollect. But I've seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I tell you what. I'll ask around and if I find him, or someone who's seen him, I'll say that May from Possum Springs is looking for him. Thanks. It means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world. Run by the worst people. And good men die for God knows what reason. We had to take on, like, duties for one another, you know? Yeah. Thanks again. What's traveling like? It's good. It's good. Never could stay in one spot. I have, like, the exact opposite problem. Alright, partners. Time for me to shove off. See ya, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Well, that's over. No fun. No fun. Something bad's coming. I know. It's a ghost germ. A real-life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya. <laughs> Aw, I guess I have to wait till another day to tell the violin person that they should go play with the saxophone person. Okay, let's go see if we can hang out with B and see if that takes up the whole day. I'm really not sure what to expect. Whatever you want to do. Proximity. I think it is a whole thing if it has its own little title card. So what kind of party is this? Um, a Jackie party? What's a Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Yeah, she hates me. Oh, that was years ago. Uh-huh. Didn't Jackie have, like, a one-woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order, give them hell. T-W-O-G-T-H. Twagath. Yeah. It's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. Twagath. Hey, B, say it. Say Twagath. 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 <laughs> Those eyes are so intense. Anyway. This is a party. And Jackie invited me. Look at you. All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay. I invite you. You are now invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this better be some party. Jackie parties are worth the trip. I think I went here once. In Girl Scouts. To see some sort of... Uh, longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town. And you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. What am I now? You know, fun. It's like super shitty that you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly? You're not smart either. I was valedictorian of our class. Like that means anything in the real world. Sorry. 
sorry. All right, let's go. I'm kind of nervous about this. Stay close, all right? Nothing to be scared of down there, just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. You brought May. Yeah, is that okay? Sure, it'll be fun. Come on in, it's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fascists at this party. <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out, you punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. I can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against fascists. Damn, I'm... I really like, uh... Shit, I forgot their name. Jackie. I really like Jackie. Hey. Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban Bright Harbor. A couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, but we're gonna go yell at the DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye boys. They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys want to dance? Yeah. Can you dance, May? Can, like, anyone here dance? Damn, look at those moves. Oh, I can actually switch to different moves by, like, moving the movement stick. The movement stick? Thumbstick? <laughs> what is that, May? Hey, I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance! I never knew! I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, well, we'll be, like, ten feet away. With an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go. She'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Big fuss. Hey, you. Hey, you. Do I know you? Nope. What's your name? Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to give a fake name? May Borowski. Borowski. 
Nice. Sounds so tough. I'm extremely tough. I'll wrestle anyone. Wow. So what's your story, Maporowski? I'm a college dropout. A ghost is chasing me, and I recently met God. I've had these dreams that I'm not sure were dreams. Where I was running around jumbled bits of, like, history or something. Like it was all a hairball stuck in the shower drain. And yeah, there's a ghost. And I'm pretty sure I'd, like, kidnap someone on Halloween. Pretty sure I didn't imagine that. And my friends don't completely buy it. And I have this thing going on in my head. And I dropped out of college and I don't even want to get into that. And all I wanted to do was come home and for things to be normal. And that's not really working out. And I found out tonight I can dance and then I saw you. I've never just listed all of that out at once before. Wow. I stole your life story. <laughs> I guess. Hey, give me your hand. Oh. Alright. What? I get... I actually... I, I actually get to do the hand thing? <laughs> it's a pentagram. <laughs> secret handshake. Wow. <laughs> it worked. Wow, okay. Okay, I should go find my friend. Let her know I'm over here. That's a good idea. Browski. It's a good name. Sounds tough. Mm, okay. Need to tell friend. Location. I'll be here. Oh, okay. Be right back. I don't know if... I can't tell if May is just flustered or just like... Like really bothered or uncomfortable. Actually... Uh, yeah, let's let's go back. If there was another person back there I might be able to talk with, but it's fine. Hey, B. Oh, hey, May. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Ah, uh, she's okay. Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like Mento Mori and shit. What's that? Remember, you were gonna die. <laughs> Jeez, does anyone need help with that? You're laughing a lot. Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. <laughs> well, a book you liked. I used to be a big reader. Then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me. Before he got dementia and died. <laughs> Jeez, May. What's, what's so funny, B? Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. B's mom is dead too. May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring. And my house exploded. Your house exploded? What the... F because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog we had before that because we were going to move and dad said he had to come with us. Jesus. Wow. So Chris, what are you majoring in? poli -sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Check out Rich Kid over here gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college just because something's interesting. BB, check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bag groceries. Okay. <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Sure. 
You should go dance. Yeah, my parents own their own business, so... Ooh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Want to go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat. Then it's a small business. You'll speak their language. Get us free slices. He doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Hmm, this is getting... This is getting weird. Uh... B knows all about business. She's super on top of things. Super smart and responsible. She runs like a like the biggest store in Possum Springs. <laughs> May know. What even is Possum Springs? It's west in the mountains. A rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever. B's out in the real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Possum Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Possum Springs? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? Isn't that like two hours away? No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey, Rick! Be here drove in from Deep Hollow! Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm... What? They... Hmm? Is this a, like a party only for students? For... From a certain college or something? Uh... B, wait! What the fuck is happening? What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Thinking you maybe should have told me some, some extra information, B. What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing. How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's God knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch her teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, and meet back here. Okay. Oh god, okay. Back in school, I always told B that you were an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. Okay, 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 where are you, B? The roofs. I can get to the river quick on the roofs. This is a fucking nightmare. Hey, move. What? Move it, goth dorks. No. I need to get up on the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damned head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm going to probably make you eat this entire car, and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically, I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to... You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Interesting. These surfaces are slippery because they're wet. That's a new thing.
B. There you are. Are you alright? Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're alone in some college town. And you don't even know... This was my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I could feel normal. For like... Two hours a month. This is normal? This is a bunch of dorks in a basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this, ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? <laughs> this is so freaking sad. I think like obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This thing you're so over already. It's like my wildest fantasy. What the hell do... the hell do I even say at this point? I mean... That is sad, and also May is a bit of an asshole. Like I said a while ago, they're really not a very good person. That's so... sad. Goddamn right it's sad. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business, because Dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills from my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in, gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away, and like any idea I had of the future, this big bright thing just gets smaller and darker. Every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight, and you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away, and I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town, I'm just... doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know? You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that, a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever even asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? Are we finally gonna know why May left? I... I don't know. My head's in pieces right now. And the answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. <sighs> Look. We're both trapped. But we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen. I'm sorry. About... Like, it's okay. We're like, the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red Winder. All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. So, like, ac actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, 
stuck together in the same town? Like we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just... What's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Proximity. Stuck in a basement together, again. This crazy old basement. We call life, Beatrice. Thanks, that's uplifting. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We can come to another one sometime. I swear I won't screw it up. Well, you've done it once, so you should know how to not do it again. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I'm like more embarrassing than you will ever be. You're like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely, genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucene fish fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God. The fake one. Crap. I didn't get her info. Who? The super cute girl I met at the party? We did a secret handshake. Is that a euphemism? Crap. Yeah, we need to come back. Okay. You. Oh, okay, you. <laughs> Let's go home. Home again, home again. That is not what I expected to be doing on this day. Whew. I thought we were going to go on a fun adventure at... At, uh, was it Possum Jump? With Angus? Angie? Christ. Yeah, everyone's... Like, the lives of virtually everybody that I meet in this town... Well, not everybody. No, actually, pretty much everybody. The lives of almost everybody I meet in this town are super depressing. Just... People in a small town... Trying to get by that, um... Are... Well, not getting by all that well, because why the hell would they be getting by all that well? I mean, how the hell would you get by unless you're super lucky or more likely born into a rich family or something? I mean, most of the people in this town that I've met, most of my friends and family, they're just trying to skate by with some shitty job as the rich get richer and the poor get even poorer and have to work life soul-crushing jobs that they fucking hate and don't even barely pay the bills and overwork them to death. Ah. This game is really depressing. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it's really depressing. Hi. Hello. Oh wow. Are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just... I've been having these dreams, and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But like... 
Everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Malloy. Garbo. Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy. But it would be... A whopper. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Ugh. Let's see if we've gotten any messages from B. Oh, and Greg. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Laters. Hey, you. Hey, me. I'm so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah. On the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, May. Bet you did that. Aw, oh, it wasn't nothing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think of worse fates. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And tomorrow... Well, I guess tomorrow we'll probably actually go to the uh, second ghostly adventure place. But we'll see, wherever the adventure takes us. <laughs>